Hey, Mr. Parker here to do a video that's a bit different. I've decided to do a video about uh, movies that are upcoming that aren't out yet or are they're kind of the ramblings that I'm really interested in. I have them jotted down really neatly, as you can tell, on uh, <laughs> this little piece of uh, sleeve. So I'm just going to hop right into movies that I want to see or I'm interested in. Uh, first is Demon's Rook. Uh, that looks very interesting. The trailer you probably find on YouTube. It's about a boy whose family's murdered by monsters, and he gets taken down, and he's like trained to fight them. And it looks like there's a whole bunch of awesome monsters, and it looks really, really cool. And then we have uh, uh, Little Creeps. Uh, this one looked pretty fun. It had a, I think Robert Desar in there. It had a bunch of little monsters in it, from my understanding. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but uh, I think Joe Estevez was in it. It looked really interesting. Uh, Lords of Salem by Rob Zombie. I'm interested in that. Love him or hate him. A lot of people hate Rob Zombie, but I, I, I was a big fan of Devil's Rejects, House of Thousand Corpses. I even like the Halloween remakes, which is like blast me for a horror fan to say. I can't believe I did like him, to be honest. I, I just really, I guess I enjoy Rob Zombie's cast and uh, the way he handles things. And uh, to people that say that uh, Rob Zombie ruined the Halloween, series you know really remaking something i don't think really destroys the first one at all especially when there's 12 sequels attached to it yeah but you know how that goes uh ingression which uh is by uh the guy who did nails and um <clears throat> uh, philosophy of a knife uh, i'm not sure if that name changed originally it was released and there was some stink about it i'm not sure if it's even gonna get released i was just interested in that one it, i think it has an ak name i'm not necessarily sure what it even is uh profane exhibit that looks really interesting. It's got shorts by Ryan Nicholson and it, Maggot, uh, Regiro Diodato, the guy who did uh, Cannibal, all sorts of uh, crazy extreme directors involved with that one. And uh, it's an analogy. Maybe it can uh, you know, be a lot better than VHS and Theater Bazaar. Theater Bazaar was okay. I really didn't like VHS. And you know, I really hope that uh, it really is the great new anthology I've been looking for. Then we have Your Next, which uh, looked pretty interesting, kind of a home invasion versus type deal that looked cool. Adjust Your Tracking, uh, which is really cool looking documentary about VHS hunters and people looking at VHS and the whole VHS lifestyle. Uh, Yard Sale by Ron DeCaro. I think that film looks very cool. Uh, you know, I've liked uh, Ron DeCaro stuff like The Gateway Me and things like that and uh, The Bright Side Trilogy. I've seen two of the three of those, White Lie and uh, Gateway Me. And uh, his other short, I uh, can't Emancipation. Looking forward to seeing Yard Sale. I'm, I'm, is, I think that's the one he's going with. Then we have uh, Return to Newcomb High. That looks freaking awesome. It looks like you know how Toxic Avenger Four was to Toxic Avenger One. How Two and Three I never liked. And you know Class of Newcomb High Two and Three, I was like those look terrible. But one, Class of Newcomb High One is one of my all time favorite movies. And Four looks absolutely awesome, amazing, crazy, crazy like Poltergeist awesome stuff here. Gator Green, the short by Jim Van Beber, originally entitled Scale. Very interested in seeing uh, Jim Van Beber's new work. Uh, I pretty much like everything he's done. Uh, I thought it has been all great thus far. Uh, at World's End, uh, the fine uh, De Corletto or Cornetto, the Ice Cream Cone trilogy finale, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and finally we have At World's End. Um, I knew that Simon Pegg and uh, Edgar Wright was directed Simon Pegg and Nick Frost would be in it, but I'm really happy to see Patty Constantine in it from uh, Dead Man's Shoes and Hot Fuzz because I think from the work I've seen him do, I think he's a phenomenal actor and i really like to see him in this movie. And uh, So that's like three of my favorite people in one movie and I'm really excited to see that. Uh, Ryan Nicholson's Dead Nude Girls, which I've heard absolutely nothing about. I ordered it, uh, hoping it's going to be really awesome. Uh, Gutter Balls 2, I really want to see. Gutter Balls 1 by him is my all-time favorite movie by him. I think it's his best work. I think it's by far his far superior movie. I just think it's a freaking masterpiece for what it is. And I, I, For what it is, I know I love it personally. I would call it a masterpiece. But a lot of people are like, oh, could you call that a masterpiece? And then come arguing and, uh, you know. But I'm really uh, curious to see what Gutter Balls 2 will look like. And uh, what else do I have on here? Super VHS. I hated VHS, but this one, maybe the directors will have more money. And it's not even the money. It's maybe they'll actually really, all that talent in there, maybe they, I, they're they very capable of making something amazing. So I'm really looking forward to them making something amazing this time, unlike last time. We have, uh, I think I went through almost everything. We have a, a Pittsburgh body removal. I was talking to Fred Vogel at uh, uh, Wasteland. He said something about this being their new one. Uh and to me, or this was like in the works, or they're just thinking about it, or something like that. I don't want to get anybody's hopes up or anything like that. Uh, not even really sure if I should be saying anything. But uh, that looked uh, sounded very interesting, sounded very different from Tote. And uh, the way he explained it really, uh, I think, will strike a chord with a lot of people. And this will show that they're evolving again as filmmakers, as they always do. Uh, the Ballad of Skinless Pete and Kill the Bitch by uh, Dustin Mills. Always looking forward to his new movie, of course. Uh, 
He uh, makes ultra fun on an ultra budget, and it's always entertaining. And the Ballad of Skinless Pete sounds like a good old science body horror, which I always enjoy. Kill the Bitch, of course, uh, you know, some sort of, uh, like, uh, exploitation throwback. But I think I got all of them on here. I'm probably missing a few. I, re I had the Evil Dead on here, but I saw that. I had uh, the Cemetery on here, but I saw that and found. I was really looking forward to. Yeah, but I'm, I'm looking forward to those movies, you know. I, I, it's hard to think about, you know, you don't really, like... I'm always like, I'm not looking forward to anything. And then when I think about it, it's like, I was looking forward to a bunch of stuff. And uh, that's what I'm looking forward to. Leave the comments underneath uh, what you're looking forward to. Maybe that you can pique my interest in something else that I haven't heard of would be amazing. Would be awesome. But thank you very much uh, for watching and have a good one. Hey, I'm just adding this at the end of the video because I don't know when I will be able to shoot another video for this. It will be a while. But I also wanted to mention that I've been doing a couple of podcasts on Surreal Grotesque. There'll be a link below. Uh, I'll probably be reoccurring on there occasionally here and there and stuff for the, for the opening part, the first 15 or 20 minutes. I've been in two thus far. It's really cool. It's run by Jeremy Maddox and Daniel Gonzalez. They're really cool guys. Uh, they talk about horror movies, horror writing, and all sorts of things like that. Everything horror. I'm just being in the beginning to talk about horror movies and whatnot. And there, so check it out if you're interested. You can hear me talk. And hear them talk about horror movies and stuff like that. Take care.